Do you see my presentation? Yes. Okay. One moment, please. So, uh, first of all, thanks everyone for joining uh, today's uh, presentation. Uh, let me introduce myself a little bit. Uh, so, as you can see, yeah, my name is Dmitry Khamekov, yes, and I've been working in IT for more than uh, 10 years and uh, almost uh, two years in South Surf as an Azure DevOps engineer in uh, COE Critical Services. And a uh, few background uh, details about me, I really like um, tourism and active outdoor activities. Um, I also have a cat. I got it from the street and uh, now it controls me and uh, makes me work. So uh, also I am Ukraine in a broad sense of this meaning. So on the next uh, few slides, uh, uh, you can find information about uh, COE critical services. Uh, so COE critical services is uh, one of the center of excellence in software. Uh, this is a team of cloud experts uh, in DevOps, uh, cybersecurity, management support, and enterprise IT services. So uh, let's uh, back uh, to our main part of presentation. So according to agenda, uh, uh, this presentation will uh, during this presentation we will discuss uh, uh, how to effectively uh, use Azure DevOps Wiki for documentation in uh, your project, uh, what's for and how to leverage uh, it with the uh, best effort, and uh, we will uh, discuss uh, tool set for that purpose and uh, shortly uh, compare uh, some alternatives uh, solution in the market. Uh, also, I will share uh, some uh, ideas uh, to speed up uh, implementation uh, that uh, wiki solution. Um, so, introdu uh, some introduction. Uh, as you may know or might know, uh, Azure DevOps Wiki is a part of uh, Azure uh, DevOps services, uh, services uh, which allow team to uh, manage uh, documentation, uh, share knowledge, and uh, uh, more uh, additional use cases related to uh, project. And nowadays, uh, in Azure DevOps, uh, uh, you have the following option for maintaining uh, wiki content. As you can see, uh, right now we have just uh, two uh, opportunities, just uh, create project wiki and uh, publish uh, code as a wiki. Um, uh, as you know, uh, nowadays we are trying to use almost everything like a code. So as part of this uh, as main goal of this presentation, we are uh, walking through that uh, publish code as a wiki uh, way. But I also show you uh, pros and cons of uh, each solution. Uh, so as you can see on these uh, slides, uh, we have some uh, advantages and disadvantage of uh, each uh, solution. So as you can see, uh, I compared uh, provision and published code uh, wiki. Uh, so as you can see, a published code wiki uh, support uh, multiple uh, wikis and name wikis. It's uh, impossible to do uh, in provision at wiki. Um, it's some limitation. Uh, also, according to um, adding or editing uh, pages from a repo, it's only available uh, in uh, publish it as a code wiki. Um, and uh, during uh, via provision at wiki, we can uh, just uh, edit or uh, manage some page uh, via uh, web UI. Uh, according to um, some uh, uh, reverting to revision, it's uh, only available for provision at wiki, but uh, for published uh, uh, wiki, we can uh, view this uh, revision, but can't revert it. Uh, but also we can do it uh, via uh, Git repo, because it uh, uh, hosted uh, all information in, in Git repo. Uh, versions wiki, it's uh, also uh, available only on published wiki. Uh, and also um, 
some good feature it's just unpublished wiki it's possible only uh, for published code so we can easily in a few clicks just uh, publish and unpublish a wiki from uh, different uh, repository and according to offline editing uh, yes as you know so if we are working uh, this code uh, like a, a git repo we can easily um, uh, perform some uh, editing uh, offline and it's possible for provision at wiki we also can uh, clone this repo but it uh, uh, not so useful for provision at wiki okay uh, let's uh, uh, discuss uh, according to publish it uh, code wiki because all solution uh, almost all maybe uh, have uh, its pros and cons so uh, publish it code as wiki uh, um, uh, i choose some pros and cons that uh, i think it's uh, most valuable for us uh, so it's version control uh, uh, provides benefits of, such as uh, tracking changes, managing branches, and easily uh, reverting to previous version if needed. Uh, collaboration and review um, by using version control system, uh, team uh, can collaborate uh, more uh, effectively. Uh, so multiple team member can work uh, on different uh, section uh, simultaneously. Uh, propose some changes and uh, as usual uh, like uh, uh, version control system uh, according to uh, change history and uh, auditably uh, with version control you have detailed history of all changes made uh, to the documentation so you can track uh, who made uh, this specific modification when and uh, why uh, automation and integration uh, Written the wiki as a code uh, allows you to uh, automate uh, processes and uh, somehow integrate it in your uh, CI CD pipeline it, if it required for you. Um, according to portability and backup, uh, when the uh, documentation is uh, stored in a version control system, you have the flexibility uh, to move it across uh, repositories or even to different platforms. So you are not locked into a specific tool. So additionally, uh, and the content is uh, version control that you have built in uh, backup and can restore uh, any previous of the documentation. And uh, also about uh, cons so learning curve required familiarity with uh, version control. At least you uh, might use uh, Git and uh, understanding how to work with uh, markdown syntaxes. Uh, infrastructure and maintenance. Uh, managing a Git uh, repository uh, also required uh, additional maintenance efforts uh, need to manage access control uh, to the repository, at least. Uh, also, uh, merge conflict. When multiple teams uh, uh, member working uh, on different uh, section of the documentation, uh, simultaneously, as usual, we uh, may face uh, some uh, conflicts and uh, um, might solve some problem with uh, merge process. Uh, tool independency. Um, it's important to ensure that the uh, tools used for editing and uh, previewing and deploying documentation uh, support the uh, chosen workflow and uh, integrate it well with uh, your development uh, environment. And uh, maybe most of uh, most uh, annoying that uh, limited format and feature because um, uh, from my point of view, uh, at least for uh, last maybe year, I haven't found uh, any uh, dramatical updates uh, in uh, features that uh, Azure DevOps Wiki uh, provides. Uh, so support uh, Markdown, uh, Azure DevOps Wiki support Markdown, but uh, not all feature uh, available. Uh, so it's some limitation um, with uh, uh, custom styling option uh, and uh, some extensions. So maybe let's try to see how it looks like uh, in a portal. One moment. 
you can see I've prepared um, a project and uh, already uh, uploaded some uh, wiki. So in our project, we have um, two type of wiki. As you can see, we have uh, one, it's a provisioned wiki. It's a standard way of uh, uh, using a wiki. So uh, at the same time, we can uh, use provisioned wiki and coded wiki, but uh, provisioned wiki might be only one. And according to code wiki, we do not have that limitation or maybe I just uh, haven't reached it. Um, so uh, during the uh, default wiki, uh, we can just easily manage uh, these uh, pages uh, via web interface. So it's a standard way with uh, some with some uh, help, preview, and standard uh, features that we can use uh, in this uh, markdown. Uh, according to Coded Wiki, I have already prepared uh, uh, two repo, and uh, we can and uh, publish it like Code Wiki. So uh, all the, uh, that we uh, should do just uh, prepare some repo and uh, publish it as a wiki. So we have two branches, uh, wiki as a code and DevOps wiki uh, in our repository. And also I publish it in a uh, wiki. So we can also uh, easily switch between uh, this uh, coded wiki. Uh, we can uh, add any branch that we already have. Uh, so it's a uh, might be very fast and easy uh, to uh, publish and unpublish. Uh, as you can see, in general, Coded Wiki, we can easily unpublish it, rename, and the same with uh, another uh, Code Wiki as we have there. And also, it's uh, very good that we have opportunity to uh, uh, have uh, different uh, uh, wiki uh, publish it uh, from different repo, it might be good for uh, different departments that may use uh, their own uh, uh, repo and uh, their own um, uh, wiki uh, for that purpose. So as you can see, we have several in general, we might have something like uh, general information, how to work, uh, best practice and uh, etc knowledge base and uh, if we're talking about DevOps so we can just uh, prepare for DevOps uh, all uh, skeleton or infrastructure uh, documents that we uh, will use in our future development and etc. Uh, so uh, let's back to presentation. Um, so according to a tool set for um, Azure DevOps Wiki as a code, um, uh, I don't know uh, which kind of uh, editor you, you prefer to use, but uh, my um, choice is a Visual Studio code and uh, uh, we have some extension, uh, not so many, but uh, uh, I have choose uh, just few of them. It's uh, Azure DevOps Wiki Markdown. It uh, helps us to uh, have a preview in uh, VS Code uh, to be sure that we uh, did everything uh, in correct way and uh, will not face some issue when we pushed it uh, in uh, Git. And uh, yeah, it's Markdown and uh, Mermaid support. It's also a good uh, extension that uh, make easier uh, to preview uh, different type of uh, mermaid diagrams. Uh, also, you should choose your uh, favorite Git uh, client uh, because it's a main uh, point that you should uh, use for work with uh, Wiki as a code. And also uh, for not only that presentation, but also for preparing uh, some uh, docs uh, uh, during uh, in some project, you may uh, also use ChatGPT as a, a writer as assistant. Uh, it will help you to uh, just uh, prepare not uh, 
uh, write uh, some docs uh, manually uh, to save your time and uh, just adapt or maybe uh, edit some uh, proposal from ChatGPT. Uh, okay, uh, let's maybe uh, show. So, as, uh, so uh, let's maybe. So as you can see, some documentation I have already prepared uh, uh, by ChatGPT. Uh, so it looks like that. Um, if talking about. So it can also uh, prepare some uh, diagrams. Easily just need to uh, ask uh, correctly to help. As you can see, uh, I've just uh, described uh, for what reason and uh, what uh, result I'm expecting. And uh, we have such result with diagrams, with graphs uh, that we can just copy paste and uh, use in our documentation. Okay. Uh, according to alternatives, uh, we do not have a lot of them uh, in market, but uh, uh, most of them uh, for documentation, we face it, it's uh, Confluence and uh, GitHub. Uh, so uh, also we uh, have uh, a lot of different small projects, but uh, mm, mostly I concentrated on Confluence and GitHub just to uh, um, just to compare it uh, to be uh, to have a clear view uh, of what's for each of them. So as you can see, uh, we compare Azure DevOps, Confluence, and the Hint Hub. Each of uh, these uh, services uh, has his own uh, hosting platform. Um, according to uh, markup languages, uh, yes, uh, Azure DevOps use Markdown, and GitHub also use Markdown. Um, and Confluence use uh, also Markdown, but adapted for uh, his uh, uh, platform. According to version control, uh, Azure uh, and GitHub is a Git-based, and Confluence use uh, built-in version control. Uh, according to collaboration, uh, uh, Azure DevOps Week is uh, real-time, uh, and Confluence simultaneous, and GitHub uh, collaborate Eaton. Uh, according to macros and extension, extension uh, as I mentioned, uh, Azure DevOps Wiki has limited support for the for extension. Just maybe some general of uh, them. And uh, as you know, uh, Confluence has uh, a lot of uh, um, macroses and extension and uh, diagrams, so it's uh, like an ecosystem. And GitHub also uh, has limited support for uh, extension and macros. Uh, according to customization, we uh, have limitation in Azure DevOps and uh, GitHub and uh, uh, Confluence has a lot of uh, opportunity to uh, adapt and customizable. Uh, according to pricing, um, um, Confluence uh, based on subscription, GitHub is free, and uh, Azure DevOps Wiki, if you use uh, Azure DevOps services, it's also free. Or if you do not have uh, Azure subscription, you can use it uh, also for free, but we have a limitation for uh, five users, if my memory serves me well. Um, so, um, uh, I have prepared a uh, silver bullet and uh, want to show you uh, how to deal with that and how it will speed up your development of documentation in your project or in current project or in a future project. So uh, uh, let's back to uh, Visual Studio Code. Uh, uh, as you can see, uh, we have a silver bar bullet uh, directory that uh, consists of uh, all information. It might be uh, some skeleton or templates, or uh, as you wish, you can prepare your documentation uh, structure and uh, use it in uh, each project just to adapt, uh, uh, remove uh, 
unnecessary and maybe add some additional so it's uh, up to you uh, to prepare your own because uh, in the internet i can't find uh, any suitable for me with the best practices and uh, etc uh, so each of you have to prepare your own uh, and to use it uh, in future and uh, it will speed up your uh, development of documentation so so uh, let's see so we have uh, uh, such uh, directory with a lot of uh, documentation so as usual uh, with uh, git we have to uh, work like standard uh, st standard version control so let's try to uh, sorry i need to prepare additional additional project one moment we do not have any information, do not have any wiki. So we have to just add your uh, SSH key uh, to be able to uh, push uh, some information uh, to this repo. So uh, Init repo, then at remote, and let's check that we have and just need to commit and uh, init. So we add and commit and push uh, this code to our repo. It's done, so let's we can see all uh, our code. So right now it's just repo. As you can see, we do not have any wiki. So right now we can uh, proceed with publish code as a wiki. Just tap. We can ch choose a repository. If we have several, we choose uh, suitable. Let's check our directory. Enter wiki name. And publish it. And as you can see, we have all information uh, presented in a wiki. So everything here, so it's uh, just took a uh, few minutes to be able to uh, prepare your documented wiki easily. So it's might be like a silver bullet for you to use it. And also you can then add additional uh, repository and publish and unpublish. You can see that we can easily unpublish it and repository still be still uh, be there so nothing changes just uh, unpublish and uh, then you can easily uh, work with it uh, with that uh, uh, repo as usual adapt edit uh, delete and uh, uh, everything as, as you wish so uh, not necessary to unpublish it when you want to edit or uh, do some uh, perform some uh, management on it it's not required as you can see you can choose a branch just publish it again so it might be easiest way to work with wiki like a code so uh, according to our presentation if you have a question do not hesitate to ask any i will try to answer and to help you to choose thank you dmitro yes guys if uh, someone has any questions please unmute and ask uh as far as I understood this uh, wiki, uh, it is it should be separate projects from the code uh, code base of application. 
Mm, yes. No. You okay. can uh, you it, can use it uh, as you wish. So it might be just another repo and you can publish it from uh, your original repo with the code. Okay, thank you. Um other other question. I, I have a question about about this is general uh, general maybe soft serve policy about uh I heard that mm, uh in some cases we cannot use uh, chat gpt for our uh code generating i i mean uh, i mean this uh, uh i i mean that um, uh, this uh, code generating by uh, chat gpt is uh, company restricted because uh, chat gpt have uh, low lows for this uh, this code isn't it or not mm, yes you are right uh, but uh, for uh, a demo purpose i used it uh, just to help me to generate a lot of uh, different uh, uh, code information and diagrams and uh, uh, maybe uh, with help of chat gpt you can generate and then adapt it for your uh, requirements because uh, uh, i'm pretty sure that uh, chat gpt can generate uh, suitable for you absolutely uh, suitable for you uh, code or documentation it might be like a skeleton just uh, with uh, correct uh, um, part of uh, this documentation uh, with some examples uh, of uh, uh, diagrams, tables, or etc. And you can easily adapt it for uh, for your needs. OK. Yes. Uh, as I see in this table that you have the information that is generated but by uh, ChatGPT and uh, author is AI. And um, it is good practice or uh, no. it required? No, it just uh, my wishes. Uh, usually we okay. use we use. Uh, um, uh, I know that uh, we have some rules how to uh, work with documentation, and uh, we have to we should have some uh, table of contents at least, and uh, we uh, should have also a versioning. And uh, in that case, you have uh, to at the table with date version description and author and uh, just uh, was uh, for fun that uh, i uh, wrote that it's generated by uh, chat gpt and author ai so of course you should use uh, your description and uh, author name okay according to thank your you. organization thank you for a nice explanation and uh, perfect presentation Thank you. Uh, what about uh, continuous integration and continuous delivery? Can we apply some tests like find broken images, find broken diagrams um, on push stage or on mesh commits, uh, mesh request stage? Um, I haven't researched in that way because uh, uh, as we have limited uh, extension, even extension for uh, that. Uh, so I believe that uh, maybe uh, maybe we have some on market, but I'm not sure. Thank you, Dimitro. You're welcome. Thank you for a great presentation. It's not regarding the presentation, but rather regarding the approach, because in our case, we had several sub teams. And one of them is different subcontractors, which not belong to SoftServe. And obviously they won't have access to the repo, but just if like they used to edit documentation directly from Azure DevOps and just wondering if it's possible to combine these both approaches or is it, you know, just against the concept itself. Yeah. So for example, if I want to transfer my existing documentation and store this as a repo, but at least some pages will be edited manually. Mm, you can, yes, you can uh, edit. Uh, as usual, uh, according to REPA, you can uh, just uh, set up uh, some security rules. And maybe for uh, customers, you can create another REPA with uh, some permissions just to uh, view or, uh, as you mentioned, um, edit some pages. Uh, 
and according to a repo uh, doc uh, wiki uh, you can edit it in a standard way but yes you should have uh, permission to do that and uh, if you do that manually then you can as usual it's uh, influence your uh, file in rep and you uh, uh, as usual do pull push so basically when someone added this page it will directly update the files in the repo yeah exactly okay got it thanks <clears throat> 